my trouble started when I was preparing for my pre-medical entrance. As the exam was approaching, I was nervous and I started getting heavy headedness and there was an increased need for sleep. I had to take a consultation uh, of a neurologist, in fact three of the neurologists in the city. They diagnosed me uh, as a case of tension type headache, another one diagnosed me as a case of uh, migraine and the third one as a case of depression depending on the way I described my symptoms. They did their best to allay my anxieties as I got through the entrance and joined Government Medical College Jammu. But this was just the beginning as I was going to acquaint myself uh, with the word struggle. I would be feeling okay in the mornings but as the day progressed I had to uh, get into the things in a very in a very difficult manner. While most of my colleagues were attending their regular classes, I had to take consultations until I uh, consulted an eye surgeon who advised me to have a psychiatric consultation. By then I had appeared in my first professional MB MBBS uh, but could not uh, get through it. I still get emotional when I remember how my mental health was affecting my father's mental health. And I vividly remember my first visit uh, to the psychiatric hospital. When sitting outside the OPD, I could clearly see the hopelessness uh, which my father was going through. It was not a good experience, especially when I came to know later that one of the doctors treating me was not even a psychiatrist. A 2050, 2015 study conducted across India uh, showed that Jammu and Kashmir is having 96 percent deficit of psychiatrists. That means if we need 100, we are having only 4. The things may not have changed much in, the, in these years. And forget about the deficit of other mental health professionals like psychologists, social workers and psychiatric nurses. Adding to my troubles, three of my Hindu seniors, they banged into my hostel room asking me in a derogatory manner, are you a Hindu? The search for the answers continued. As I went through the literature, whichever was available to me, until I found solace in the Buddha and his Dhamma, only to last for a while, and I now continue to be a freelancer. I, I have deliberately shared the to this topic because a month ago, one of my psychology students called me to ask if I can provide a consultation to one of his Dalit friends who is not comfortable consulting a mental health professional belonging to a community other than hers. So this topic is a naive, very little is talked about it, but there has been a lot of research in the recent decade. In a 2015 study, uh, it showed that mar the people from the marginalized cl classes uh, they suffer more from the chronic illnesses and in particular mental illness. While I was going through this, I stumbled upon a senior who upon seeing me trouble gave me access to his room and a briefcase full of self-help books. He offered me a book, I am okay, you are okay. It was a difficult read, so he handed, me, handed over to me another book, The Road Less Traveled. Seeing me getting interested into these self-help thing, he asked me to purchase my own. <laughs> and I followed his advice. Further along the road less traveled, the road less traveled and beyond, the different drum, what you say after you say hello, 
why good people do bad things and it is still continuing my mood was not okay it was not under my control i was attending classes participating in sports participating in cultural activities as well i still continued with the, uh, consulting many of the doctors until an ENT surgeon got me diagnosed with hypertrophied concavulosa and i got operated in 2003 that was a life changing moment for me as it eased many of my troubles by then i had cleared my second professional mbbs taking more than twice the usual time but that didn't change my conviction that i'll be okay some day somehow i got through my mbbs and fed up fed up being at the same place uh, for long i moved to delhi and uh, got my residency in psychiatry so while going through the textbooks i can relate in a better way that i was going through a trouble but little did i know about any solution i was feeling okay on certain occasions i would not be feeling okay on many of the occasions and on certain occasions i would be feeling more than okay so i'll be sharing two of my poems which i have penned down during the periods when i have felt more than okay life is a playground we all have to bat is just like a blind man looking in the dark a black cat we all hike for world's luxuries like a rat running after a rat we all want happiness but where is that going by my experience all i can say is that the path of the buddha is right rest all is a silly spat i keep saying to myself don't wait for the slipping of the mat i am as good as you see hard outside soft inside just like a kit kat a little bit of uh, hindi a little bit of uh, angrezi a little bit of uh, urdu and a little bit of punjabi a bit of ambedkar and a bit of kalam i love singing ma tujhe salam i studied at convent my teacher gave me bible and a friend quran they didn't ask me for any lagan i know i know that i take sides but that's not me it's my mind taking various strides believe me it's not me it's my mind taking various strides but listen aren't we all hiding ourselves behind false prides my journey continued and i became a trained psychiatrist things were not right until i went through a first hypomanic episode in 2014 and the life was never the same again no i had a double responsibility taking care of myself and my patients of course with medications and their associated ill effects and i still continue to do that in order to have a good mental health in order to have a good mental health one needs lively grandparents foresighted parents comforting siblings non judgmental friends a good psychiatrist <laughs> who can put oneself in the shoes of her patients right medications 
and most importantly a right partner who can say it is okay to be not okay sometimes and who can literally say ja simran ja ji le apni zindagi i'll be sharing few of uh, my interactions with my patients one of my patients entered my opd room smiling before i could say something he answered sir you might be thinking that this is a pathological smile but believe me it is a genuine smile which i had forgotten for the last 2 years except an occasion which lasted not more than one day when i was so happy that cracking civil services seemed a childish task to me and i purchased books worth 30000 rupees in a single go except that single occasion i have been feeling low all these 2 years and i know i am happy uh, sharing my happiness with you another of my patient who is a follow up case with me for the last 13 years as a case of recurrent depressive disorder she is doing well for the last 5 years out of concern i asked her to give it a try to taper off her medicines uh, for one more occasion she answered sir if you take guarantee that i will not have another episode i can stop the medicines because the pain and agony i went through i don't want to go through it again and it is beyond expressing another of my patient who is doing mbbs came to me for adjustment issues because he was pursuing his uh, education from a place which was geographically and culturally different and he was sharing a room with four of his uh, classmates subsequently he came home to attend a marriage function when his family members noticed that he is he has uh, he is going to attempt suicide by jumping into a canal so diagnosed with the mood disorder he missed his first professional mbbs making me remind of my early days he is not uh, now doing fine and has recently appeared in his uh, supplementary examination so mental health is very pertinent irrespective of the fact whether someone is born in a poor family or a far flung area that doesn't make someone a lesser human so we need to move in that direction so that every individual gets uh, included in the mental health care it should not be privilege of uh, some thank you